Hello, this is a 2003 Infinity M45, and what you have here is a McPherson or McPherson suspension layout. <clears throat> Depending on what part of the world you live in, will determine how you pronounce that. So you have a combination coil and uh, coil, coil spring and strut uh, unit here. You know, you coil over suspension basically, and. Um, this right here, one of the complexities of this platform, is that this is welded onto, welded onto the spindle here. And then the spindle holds the hub. Uh, so, that uh, makes it, I mean, a little complicated. Uh, you can't just buy parts randomly. You kind of have to go for special parts. But, so, coil spring on the strut goes all the way to the top, into the engine bay. And this part of the engine bay is what you see. You've got three, you know, studs and three studs and nuts. One, two, three. Then this right here, this unit here, this capsule you see up here, in the Q45s that had the damp uh, adjustable suspension. I know the components came in through the top, so that's what that that's the purpose of that serves. Uh, then let's go back down here. The other component I'd like to speak about is the lower control arm, the wishbone. Uh, it's, uh, it's not really wide up, you know, that, in that dimension over there. But it's pretty big up front, you know, to the subframe. To the subframe down here, bolt to the bottom of the, of, the, of the hub with the spindle. So, that's your second component. Third is this. This is a really, really beefy piece of metal. This is your stabilizer bar, and it goes here all the way to the front. It's a really long dimension, then it bends and goes to the other side. On this end of the stabilizer bar, you have a stabilizer link. It's really long, uh, but it's really simple to remove, uh, aka stabilizer connecting rod. All right? So there you got that. Uh, something else I'd like to speak about in this platform, this bar right here. This is your factory mounted, factory provided uh, strut tower brace. And you've got two, well, two bolts here, really. These right here, onto those two uh, strut studs. And that bracket bolts with one bolt over here. And then that goes to the, to the body. And onto the other side. One piece over here, it just looks like that. Onto the other side. So this is one of the last vehicles Nissan provided uh, strut tower brace because the uh, in later models the the bodies were really really stiffened um, so that should explain the suspension layout of this car uh, not too complicated nothing too complicated the only challenge would be sourcing these parts over here and right now this is what the factory number is 54303CR906 and well I should also just point out that you know when your outer tie rod uh, connected to the inner tie rod your steering components bolt to the bottom of the spindle over here so it's pretty simple okay this is a 2008 Infiniti M45 rear wheel drive I'm redoing this video because I did one with a with a lamp earlier, and it seems like having the lamp is actually a little more de detrimental to to the video. So I'm glad it only cost me ten bucks at Walmart. Look at that! That's the view versus that view, right? That you know just kind of overexposes things and throws shadows versus that. Right, so let's let's go. Let's start discussing this. This system right here is a double wishbone suspension. The front is so you've got this right here. You've got this. All right, this is your lower wishbone to you and me. Lower control arm, lower wishbone in Nissan in Nissan speak. That's called the transverse link. So that joins the lower end of the strut to the hub uh, to the to the steering knuckle. This guy right here. This is a steering knuckle. All right, so your steering knuckle on this end right here joins the outer tire rod or the steering rack. There you go. Then that's what turns it. When this, you know, turn your steering wheel, that pulls it to that side and pushes it this way. And that's what turns your the, your, your brakes. Oh, sorry, <laughs> that's what turns your wheel, turns your hub, so to say. 
the steering knuckle, right? So this guy right here, swivel up here and down there. So this is your upper wishbone of a control arm. I've got videos removing that, you know, showing how to remove that for this platform. You know, it's a, it's a nice system, you know, among the benefits is enabling the, the wheels to stay straight, keep camber, you know, maintain camber to a certain level when cornering and all that. Uh, and here, with a big bushing, you know, this is where you, it joins to the subframe. Then here, this is at the end of it, right there, right? Then, um, looking at the, the strut, strut assembly, coil strut assembly, as, as I showed down here, you know, it bolts to the lower wishbone right here. Then goes up through the body and right here to the frame. Two, you know, it's actually three. The other one is somewhere here. There you go. There's the third one hiding there. And um, you'll notice that unlike the 2003, this one here does not have any strut tower support bars. And the thing is that this is a very well made platform, it's really stiff. Some people do end up getting strut bars, and you know, they say it really helps. Oh, uh, I'll tell you how I use my car. Most times I'm in America, so I drive straight a lot, and when I turn left or right, it's at slow speed, so I don't really need to corner any heavily. And even when you do, honestly, this car is pretty good. So, that's, that's what we got for suspension. Then here, we've got this bar right here. This is a stabilizer bar. Usually pretty beefy things, aren't they? And right here, this is a stabilizer link. Or in the Nissan world, you call that the, sta uh, the st uh, stabilizer bar connecting rod. And you can see that joins uh, the stabilizer bar to the lower wishbone. All right? When it comes to suspension, things are very familiar down here. It looks a lot, a lot like the 2008 M45 suspension. Uh, you've got double wishbone suspension. And so you've got this upper, upper wishbone, upper control arm. You've got this right here, lower control arm. And honestly, it is the basics of it are pretty much the same. You've got your strut here. You strut, um, com uh, your combination strut and coil spring unit and that goes through for the body you've got three bolts over there that's how you replace that pretty easy drop honestly uh, these are the sport ones so they're called like double damped or something like that something fancy not sure gonna watch out for that oh no that's just for the spring That's worked. Bother with it. So, you have your steering knuckle here that's joined on the top by a ball joint to the upper wishbone. Down here, it is attached to the lower wishbone as well. And there should be a ball joint. There you go. There is a ball joint here. Just like the 2006 one or 2008. I have a video on the 2006. Once you release this nut down here, just smack this um, the steering knuckle and down it goes so you've got your it's a really long one by the way <laughs> you've got your uh, your steering rack your odd tie rod odd tie rod end over here to the bottom of this uh, steering knuckle and that's that's how you turn it the subframe actually looks really good I think that's some um, Cast, cast and welded aluminum. Well, I see weldings for sure. Maybe stamped and welded, but it looks really, you know, I mean, just looks serious gray, so to say. Um, wishbone, the, uh, just like the 2008 joints here. Looks, it seems a little easier to get to, honestly. I can get it. Oh yeah, good luck getting the tool there. There's good something there. But hey, look, got some engine from here. It's pretty cool. I touched it, I touched it. So, yeah, I can get some bolts from here. So in case I ever needed to actually do my, well, just a few. So, but I digress, back to that. Then we've got our stabilizer bar. 
pretty similar simple fanfare beefy beefy uh, beefy rod that goes through to the other side then you've got this this is your front stabilizer link aka the stabilizer bar control rod connecting rod sorry so there you go oh what else that's, that's pretty much it the front's usually pretty simple you know let me see so oh you've got an like an additional bracket here it's a stamped metal uh, you know stamped steel part that actually joins this front shock to the to the lower control arm. Otherwise, I mean, it's just an open part. It's it goes to the aluminum on the other side, but this side it needs this plate. All right, this plate over here. So you you can see here. At this at this point, Nissan had already gotten away f uh, from using or rather from installing. So strut tower support bars but if you look at the general shape of this thing see it's metal all over and compare this metal here to the shape of the 2003 uh engine bay like i told you i mean it's pretty much a big big it's a sheet of metal yeah but it's a big strut support bar again this is one of those where if you want to you could put a strut support bar an aftermarket thing but i'll tell you uh I've messed around with enough Nissans in my life to know that this thing is stiff as hell. So, it's probably not something I'll be in a hurry to do myself, but I definitely don't knock anyone that does it for, for visual pleasure. Or anyone that goes cross-tracking and stuff. Oh my goodness, I can see the dust on this car. Oh, okay, need to wash it now. All it did was rain on it. Damn. Didn't know rain was that dirty. Oh well.